Uh, how was your summer? It was good. Yeah, yeah I've just been working out, um, training on campus. Oh, that's funny. Not to do a tiny bit of travel, not much, though. So. Getting fun? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, what, what, what was the fun, most fun thing you did? I had to go to the Manning Camp last weekend. That How was, was probably that? the best thing. Yeah, that was awesome. It was yeah. So much fun. We hear a lot about that, uh, out, you know, people in the media do, and yeah. I don't think we really understand what that's like for a college quarterback to go to that camp. What are you doing when you're there? You know, I, I got to learn a lot, um, you know, from, from Peyton and Eli. And um, I think that was the coolest part about it. And then we got to throw, you know, Marcus is out there, right. uh, Mariota, Connor, um, a couple other guys, Kevin Hogan, and Brett. Um, so we got to learn from them. And um, But the cool, I think the main thing that, that we all did was there's about 1,200 high school kids that, you know, paid and showed up for the camp. And, and we got to mentor them and, you know, teach them everything we just went through and help them out, um, which I think was the best part. So you're a counselor at that camp? So how Counselor, yeah. We, yeah, we counsel. Um, do you guys also learn? Yeah, like, is there yeah a that, that was you guys thing. campers? Yeah. You get there right away, you know, you get in there, you introduce, meet everybody, hang out, and then automatically the first thing you do is get to do a throwing session okay. um, with Peyton and Eli and kind of a training thing and yeah. throw with the other quarterbacks. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I think our main thing is being a mentor for the kids, you know, helping them out. Yeah, you mentioned Marcus was there. I know Sean Mannion was there. And Sean was there, yeah. He supposedly won some contests. Yeah, yeah. What, what's the deal? This with accuracy that? drill. Yeah. The golf cart, you know, the golf cart drives across. You have to hit the target. And then it drives down the sideline. You got to hit that. How'd, so. how'd you do? I'm good. I, I got third. I was behind. Okay. Me and Sean went to the finals. Me, Sean, um, uh, Justin Worley from Tennessee, and then... Yeah. This kid Brandon from I think it was southeastern Alabama. Oh wow! Was, yeah, so it was, it was, we made it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but Sean, I'm man. Sean can miss. Yeah. Sean was in everything. <laughs> nice. So. What's your relationship like with the other QBs in the, in the conference, specifically Sean and Marcus? Did you just meet them out there? Or did yeah. you know them before? I mean, obviously there's that that, that um, I guess you call it competitive friendship. You know, you know the guys throughout yeah. playing games and stuff. I haven't played Marcus yet yeah. since I've been um, the starter. Right. Um, but yeah, that's that was the main time we got to hang out a lot out there and. You know, uh, me and Marcus were texting before we got out here um, a couple of days ago, and just, you know, we, we have that cool relationship, and, you know, at the end of the day, we all know we're competing, you know, to win the Pac-12, and we're competing for the same thing, but, um, yeah, there's always going to be, you know, you're, you're still kind of rooting for the guy and helping each other out. Sark is now your, your head coach. What's the biggest difference between him um, and from, from last year, whether it be Coach O or Lincoln? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, obviously Coach O did some great things for us last year, and he helped us out a lot. Um, and um, when he left, Coach Sark came right in and, and took, um, you know, full control of this team. He really helped us out. And, you know, Sark's brought this team along so far. And I think the cool thing is, is throughout spring, you know, guys were, were haven't played for Sark before, and they really started buying into his system and believing in him. And, you know, he got, he got control of the whole team. You know, everyone on this team is – is really following him and, and bought into him, so it's, it's really cool to see. It seemed like the team was was had totally bought into Coach O yeah. as well. Um, was it hard for him to leave? Yeah, I mean it's always tough, you know. No matter where you're at, you get you know when you have a head coach, and especially what Coach O did, and some other coaches, guys will tell you, you know, when you get used to the same guy and um, you know you used to him coaching you and used to seeing him every day, and um, you know you treat him like family. You know, it's always difficult. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a business. You know, from college football, it's always a business. We always understand that when you commit somewhere or when you have a coach there, um, they're not guaranteed to be there for long. They're, ne they're never guaranteed to be there till you till your whole career. You're coming into this season as the starter. Mm. Um, how how much does that help you in, in your preparation and your just kind of mental preparation for this season? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot different than it was last year. Yeah. You know, I was still competing um, for the job still in the week two of the right. season. So. Um, you know, I wanted to be that leader, I wanted to be that guy, but it's tough in the off season when you haven't really played it down or really done anything. Um, and you don't even know if you're the starter yet, you know, so you can't really take full control. Um, but yeah, this year it's completely different. You know, these guys have bought into me as a leader. Um, they're supporting me and, um, you know, they see me as a quarterback and, and it's awesome. You know, I feel like I can step in and, you know, you know, start not merely making commands but telling guys what to do, you know, leading guys, helping them out. And, uh, especially teaching these younger guys, so um, I love the role that I have right now. What will it take for USC to get back to where USC was? I time? think you know, I think just guys coming into work every day, guys getting that mentality of, you know, we are SC. You know, we've we've, we've done um, not necessarily we, but the tradition behind us, you know, has been um, you know second to none. You know, so guys have really seen that and want to get back to that spot. And um, you know, I feel like we have all the tools to do it. And then Coach starts. Um, you know, it's really told us that's our main goal. You know, we, we are SC. We got to get back to where we were, and um, you know, this team's done a great job preparing this offseason. So it'll be fun to see this year. Cool.